Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I will be upgrading my PC build to a white aesthetic. I came up with this idea last year during winter and have accumulated a few things that have been sitting in the office for a while. Now that is spring, it's time to upgrade to something bigger and better. Make sure to watch until the end to see the finished build and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get started. There are three main goals for this PC upgrade. First, achieve a mostly white, minimalistic looking and quieter PC. Second, obtain a larger case and better motherboard to allow for future upgrades. Last, salvage old components for a home server. The current build specs include the MSI X470 Gaming Pro motherboard, which has served me well over the years. It was obtained as part of a bundle that included an AMD Ryzen 2600 CPU. I later upgraded my CPU to the AMD Ryzen 56000X to get some extra performance. The CPU cooler is a Be Quiet Dark Rock 4, which is quite bulky. To achieve a quieter and cleaner look, an all-white AIO cooler would be preferable. The Corsair Fendrance Pro RGB RAM stick were recently acquired and will be retained for this build due to their pretty RGB. The GPU is an EVGA 1066GB and an Elgato capture card is used to record gameplay. The existing GPU and CPU will be retained as they are still powerful enough to handle modern games and applications. Ultimately, this PC will be upgraded with new components to improve aesthetics, cooling, and some performance improvements. Let's get started with our upgrade process. First, we will disassemble our old build to make room for the new components. I decided to take apart the PC in the living room because we have more space to work with. While taking it apart, I realized how dusty it was, which triggered my allergy really badly. As if spring allergies wasn't enough to kill me. I had to take some parts out to the balcony to dust them before putting them away. We are starting with a new motherboard, the N6T N7 B550. After doing some research on white motherboards, we decided this one had the cleanest look and most I.O. for future upgrades. I fell in love with it even more when I started putting it together. The white panels are magnetic and so easy to pop in and out. As someone who is not super experienced with PC building, this motherboard made it easier for me because it's very clear where everything needs to go. I reused my old CPU and one of the existing SSD from my current build. For storage, I am upgrading my boot drive to a 2TB Gen 4 M.2 SSD to complement my all SSD build. This will give me faster load times and plenty of space for games and files. I am so impressed that the white panels mask everything and made it so clean.
then I'm adding my Corsair RAM modules from my current build to the new motherboard. For the new build, I got a new case from NCXT and this is their H7 Flow. Check out this beauty. It's a spacious case with fantastic AIO support and it comes in white on both the exterior and the interior for a clean modern look. The improved airflow will keep the components cool during intense gaming sessions. This case is a rarity. All the other options I've looked at has some kind of secondary color on them or were simply not as sleek. Originally, I was considering a Corsair case, but the N6T H7 Flow caught my eye and happened to be in stock when I was ready to buy a new case. The first components I'll install in this case is the motherboard. I think choosing an N60 motherboard to pair with the N60 case was a brilliant decision. The minimal designs of the products just fit together so well. When putting it together, I was careful to ground myself to avoid an static discharge on my brand new motherboard. Overall, the installation was straightforward and required only a few screws. Moving on to one of the most exciting upgrades, the H150i Elite AIO CPU cooler with an LCD screen. This cooler will help achieve even better cooling performance and provide a stunning visual display with customizable graphics. Everything is so nicely packaged in the box. Three RGB fans and an all-white radiator. I couldn't stop commenting on how pretty it looked to my husband when I was building it. Now it's time to install a new AIO cooler. I decided to mount it on the top so that the air gets pulled from the front and upwards. The RGB lighting will also look nice shining from above. One thing I learned from other experienced PC builders is that you should install the fans on the radiator first before attaching it to the case. This makes installation much easier as no one likes installing screws upside down. After mounting to the case, I replaced the filter and the top plate that came with the case. And now, we're ready for the special LED upgrade kit. This kit is super cool. It comes pre-assembled and installation was very straightforward. You just remove the original plate with the Corsair logo, replace the screws with the ones included in the upgrade and snap the new LCD panels magnetically. Then, you just plug in into the Corsair RGB hub and power, and you're done! I'm so excited to see how it looks when the PC boots up. It's supposed to show you data of your PC and even allows you to display GIF images on it. In my opinion, it looks so much more personalized and prettier than the default manufacturer's logo. I currently have an all SSD build and I love how fast it is. Since I'm doing more video editing and playing larger games, I thought it would be a good idea to add more storage. The back of this case came with two mounting brackets, so it was easy to install the drives and mount them cleanly onto the case. In contrast to my previous case, where I had to hide the drive at the bottom of the case. 
Here, I am connecting all the RGB fans and components to the Corsair hub. I appreciate how everything is labeled, which makes it easier for me to manage them with their IQ software later on. Cable management is a little challenging because there are so many cords with the fans, but I tried my best to keep them neat with the built-in velcro straps on the case. One thing I really like about this case is that it has so many built-in cable management slots, so it makes it so much easier to do. We're not aiming for perfection right now, we're simply trying to plug everything in to ensure it is gonna run properly. It looks like we're 90% of the way there. The power supply installation is pretty easy. We just needed a few screws. After that, we mount the GPU and the Elgato capture card. I quickly test the PC to make sure it boots up correctly. And then I did some cable management behind the scenes. Now for the final steps, Balu inspects the PC and gave me a passing grade. I think I did a fair job with the cable management, but the back panel covers everything up. So even if you mess up with the cable management, it's no big deal, no one's gonna see it. The side panel is all glass and displays all the pretty components we have in the PC. One other thing I also got for this upgrade was a USB hub. I really recommend everyone who has a lot of peripherals like me to get one because it makes cable managing so much easier than reaching around the back of your PC. The one I got is from Anchor and it passes through data and has some power only ports as well. I love the overall white aesthetics we have going on. I want to keep the decoration to a minimum with just my Kuromi Funko figurine. As you can see, our new build is faster, cooler, and more beautiful than ever before. The H7 Flow case provides better airflow and a clean modern look. The H150i Elite AIO cooler keeps our CPU cool with a stunning visual display. And the 2TB Gen 4 M.2 SSD gives us plenty of space and faster load times. Thanks for watching. I hope this build helped inspire you ways you can upgrade your PC or desk as well. Upgrading your PC with new components can be a fun and rewarding experience that can also help you learn more about the inner working of your computer. Some tips to keep in mind when upgrading your PC include researching compatibility between components, selecting the right power supply unit, and properly managing cable routing to ensure easier upgrade in the future. I encourage you to explore the wide range of options available in the market today and find the perfect components to suit your needs and preferences. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!